What's going on people? Welcome back. I finally took the shaver to the head. If you follow me on Instagram, you know about it first because I posted all the behind the scenes madness of my brother shaving my head over there. But at the end of the day today, let me address the topic. It is how to spot a scam email from a hacker. Got a couple people trying to hack my YouTube channel again. If you didn't know, I'm a veteran of the getting hacked life. I was hacked once two months ago in February. They took my YouTube channel away from me. They had it for one week and boy did they have some fun with it. They were live streaming to 13,000 people. They were fucking causing all sort of chaos. Eventually, I got it back, of course, and uh, I've been cracking on since. Now, since then, I have been uh, getting a couple hack attempts on my YouTube channel again, and I've been able to easily spot them and weed them out based on my experience from being hacked successfully before in February. So today I'm gonna make this video and break down a common email that I'm getting, which is clearly a hack, clearly a phishing scam. And uh, we're gonna break it down of how to spot it and the couple tells to make sure I know this is a scam basically. And I don't fucking click the link and they don't fish my goddamn shit again. You can tell there's a little bit of annoyance left up from, from, from the week they stole from me. But at the end of the day, let's jump on the computer. Uh, you basically on the screen right now is an email that I received yesterday. Now I wake up every morning and um, not every morning, but some mornings I'll wake up and I'll sit there and I'll mass respond to all my emails because it's a nice kind of tick off the list. We've done something, you know what I mean? It's not really the most labor intensive thing in the world, but at the end of the day, doing little things just helps you stay productive, right? So that's a little win in the morning. I answer all my emails, my email is empty. So, so I go through, I respond to a bunch of emails and I had this email right here, which was obviously, so obviously a scam, right? And uh, it starts off like this. Hello, I'm a representative of Rojox. I'm ready to find you out, uh, ready to advertise our project. We're rep representatives of the program for live streaming. First off, the English is poor. This doesn't even make sense. Uh, you know, no offense, but a lot of people trying to hack people are not English speakers first. If you agree to us, please write. We will discuss the conditions and the amount that you would like to receive for advertising. Thank you. Regards, Daniel Lloyd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the tells that this is obviously a hack. First off, gmail.com. Companies who want to pay you to do sponsored posts, right? They're usually not at gmail.com. More than usually, almost never are they at gmail.com because they're a company who has a marketing budget and before you get to being able to pay people for sponsored posts, you usually at least have enough money to fucking subscribe to Zoho business email or whatever, right? That's just one of them you might subscribe to, whatever. But if, if you got money to pay me for a sponsorship, you got money to get a business email. So at gmail.com, write them off right away, write them off completely. Now, next up, if we weren't noticing the email, we would get their company. You're a representative of Rojox, which you're clearly not because you would be at rojox.com, not at gmail.com. Daniel, you silly little boy. Next up, we're going to go up here. A little bit of pettiness, right? You guys are going to see me get a little petty throughout this because they hacked me successfully one time. And, um, yeah, it was quite an experience getting hacked. But I'm going to actually Google their company, right? Nothing. Oh, wow. Who knew? I wasn't expecting much, but there's nothing here because it's complete nonsense. There's, there's nothing for there to be. Two points in the opposite favor, man. We got your fucking company don't exist and your email, you don't even have a company email, so you're gone. So I responded, right? And I uh, copy pasted an email that I sent to, I think three or four different companies I had emails from this morning that want to sponsor my content. And I copy paste the same email to all of them. Hey, change their name, obviously. I'd be happy to get involved and collaborate on a sponsored video together. By all means, please let me know the budget you have available for this collab, and I'm sure we could put something awesome together. Now, the reason I've been polite is because that's sent to all the four people who want to sponsor on my channel. I thought I'd send it to this person and just see what they're what they're coming at. Because I knew I, I pretty much 100% knew this is a scam based on those two factors we've gone over already. Now, next, almost the biggest possible tell you can have of a company trying to fucking scam you is volunteering how much they'd want to pay you. Think about this right now. If you're negotiating, right? Say you want to buy a new car, you go down to the car dealership. You don't tell them, I want that car right there. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll pay five grand for it. The fucking car could be 3.5 grand. You've just paid over by 1.5. You know what I mean? So you're never going to, as somebody who's trying to get a good deal or, or, or negotiate a deal, you're never going to volunteer your, your budget. That's ridiculous. They always say, Hey Jack, we've, you know, we, we'd love to sponsor on your channel. Can you let us know your, you know, can you let us know your rates, right? Something like that. And that's also hence like, you know what I mean? That, they, they're never just gonna fucking flat out tell you how much they're gonna fucking pay you. I'm just watching this video back, and for the sake of just being 100% accurate, I actually have had a legitimate company just offer me an amount up front. Uh, you know, they, they've stated, hey, we have $500 for this promotion, for example. Can you do a review of our editor, etc.? And uh, I've done it. So actually, 
look at this. I was caught up in it. I have actually had a legitimate company offer me a, bar a budget up front. However, that offering of the money plus the fact that it kind of coincided with the other factors that we've talked about still made me think this was a, was a scam. But for the total transparency, I have actually had a company that offered me money up front and they were legit. So that is not an ultimate tell. Back to the video. I said, how much is your budget, right? Now, what they'll usually come back for is they'll, they won't just state it out, li out like that, like exactly how much they're going to fucking pay you like that. They'll, they'll usually, you know, beat around the bush a little bit type of thing like that. But at the end of the day, I've said, how much is your budget? And they basically list off all the actual prices. They go pre-roll at least 30 seconds, 500 bucks. You can insert a short clip into the main video, at least 1.5 minutes. Blah, 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 blah. So they're stating all the, all the prices, etc. Um, but if you can tell your price, if you are not comfortable with this, but right, you can tell your price if you are not comfortable with this. No, no. First off, you can tell your price, not the way you say it. Just, you, you know, you, you know, if these prices aren't up to your standards, whatever, break us down what your normal rates are. Something a little bit more professional. And there's no sign off. Look, look thank you. Regards, Daniel Lloyd. This one does not. Somebody who's in the mindset of being a professional admin person over email is always doing a sign off. You know what I mean? It's just natural. In fact, a lot of the time they've got a fucking signature there that says fucking chief communications officer at Disney or whatever, right? You know what I mean? So huge red flag again. They're stating a little bit too literally how much money they're going to pay me. Uh, I guess I did ask for their budget, but usually doesn't go down like this. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, um, in retrospect, I guess I did ask for their budget. So you know what? That's not the biggest tell in the world, but it's sort of at this point, I was pretty obvious this was a fucking hack. This was a scam. So I just trolled him. I'm like, all right, we'll need 50% up front. I never asked for 50%. This is more or less my equivalent of the middle finger just to see what he responds next because I don't take 50%. I've really only ever taken 50% a couple times and the company offers. They're like, hey, Jack, we'll send you 50 the reason I don't take 50% and the reason I don't need to is because I just won't post the fucking sponsored video. If I make you a sponsored video and I send it to your review, right? Send it to the company for review, which is the normal process. And they don't pay me. I just won't put the video up. You know what I mean? So, so to get the video on my channel, they always have to pay me, which means there's always leverage in my position to just send them the video to review. Now, if they offer me 50% of the money up front, wonderful. But I never ask for 50% of the money up front because... They always send me the money at the end because or else I just wouldn't post the video, you know, period. They waste both of our time, which so they say they fault respond. We make full payments after showing us an unpublished video. Blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. And you're a scam. It's obvious. Boom. Done and dusted. I had to call them out. Um, when you're dealing with a scam, you're like, should I fucking tell them it's a scam? Because then they'll know that it was shit. But at the end of the day, that right there is definitely a scam. Um, at the end of the day, um, the tells to, to revisit at gmail.com. Complete nonsense. Uh, representative of Rojox, their company does not exist. Any company is going to be able to pay you for sponsored posts is going to have at least some sort of track record on the internet. And alternatively, uh, oh yeah, they don't, they stop using their sign off, which by the way, look at that until the scam, I'm using my fucking sign off. All the best, Jack, all the best, Jack. It's just sort of a little professional thing that you fucking do if you're emailing people on a consistent basis. Again, I'm the type of person who says it's a professional thing you do after I drop the word fuck, right? So if I'm outperforming you on professional stuff and I'm out here dropping swear words, you just, you're slacking big time, right? And that's what Daniel Loins, whose logo is live stream. Let's revisit this again. How unbelievably moronic this is. We are representatives, representatives of the program for live streaming. And so instead of your Rojox logo, you're going to have the word live stream there. Oh, and, and his name is Ray Voxchat at Gmail. Oh my God, pure stupidity. At the end of the day, you got to be on some sort of, you know, you got to be pretty thick to be trying this shit right here. And at the end of the day, Daniel Loins did not surprise us at all. He was as thick as can possibly be. And with that being said, that right there is how you spot a scam email from a hacker.
who's trying to take your YouTube channel. Now, they did take my YouTube channel. Come back over here and turn the light on, right? Is that a bit too much? You know, I don't think we even need light. I've decided. Screw it. Natural. All natural. They're going to try hack you. If you get big, it's inevitable they're going to try hack you. Now, I'm making this video for, you know, the people that are big already or the people that, you know, have aspirations to get big or it's happened to smaller down channels. They've just been hacked as well. And oftentimes there's less recourse because YouTube don't know about you too much yet when you're smaller. Therefore, it's harder to get in contact. But that's a scam email. Um, Rojox, not, not, not a real company. Daniel Loin, not a real person. Thank you guys for tuning in. That right there is how to spot a scam email so you don't get hacked like Jack. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Peace to the out. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter so that my numbers could increase.